I'm Margie. And I'm Chloe. And uh, we're from Margulous, Margulous Creations. Creations. And welcome to vlog number 10. Ten. This is the last video where I can use my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start using my toes. No, please don't. It was a joke. I know. <laughs> um, so I'm so sorry that we have been so busy and haven't been able to even attempt at a vlog in a couple of months. Um, so what we've been up to is we've moved and we had to do a ridiculous amount of renovations. Yeah. Um, we had in the basement, we had one big room and, and an office and the office is now my room and we've turned that one big room into, into two rooms. Two rooms. So one for Micah and one for me and Dare. Um, so it's been, it's been absolutely crazy, uh, with all of that sort of stuff. And I finally have my craft room set up and I finally kind of. have, well, yeah, I'm still like, there's still so much stuff. In there's still boxes in here. Yes. Just there's kind still of sitting boxes. over there in the corner. Yeah. There's still a lot of boxes. There's still <laughs> a lot of unpacking to do. Um, and we downsized so much, like we got rid of so many things, like, but we used to anyhow, but that's okay. So, I don't know if you noticed, but this is the f my beautiful new backdrop. <laughs> I know we are on our last vlog, we said it was going to be the last time you saw us with our old shelves. And these are the new shelves that I... Uh, they're actually crates that we painted and stuff. And so I've got a little compilation of uh, what we did to make it. Yeah. So... Here is the starting of the shelf. I have got 12 crates. So, we're screwing them in. Right, there's the screw. No, it's not focusing over there. There we go, so there's one screw. Got one drilled in. Apparently these are hardwood. And Dare started screwing in this one. Pre-drilling, pre-drilling. I've never broken, what is that, a 3 16 drill bit in wood before. Yep. But yep, yeah, snap clean off. Here we go. One shelf together. Now to take it apart and paint it. Um, my shelves are going really well. Um, kind of excited by it. Okay, so here is the starting of it. I've got, I've been working on putting the yarn up for two days now. And balling all the skeins of yarn because, remember my mess? 
over there of my shelves and all of the tangled yuckiness. So these are my synth synthetics I still have left to ball up and find a spot for over here. Then I've got this bag of, uh, it's bamboo, so that would be cotton, I believe, um, to put up. And then I've got <gasps> uh, crochet cotton thread, um, novelty yarns. I still don't know if I'm going to keep them or get rid of them. More cottons, um, sock yarns, and fuzzy stuff. This box of yarn, which is new, by the way. That bag is a project, so it's not going on the shelf at all, which is good because that's a lot of yarn in there. These are the, those are filled with, I think, four bags of the big comfort. Yeah, but I'm at a dilemma. I don't know if I should keep the bottom shelf like this because it's really nice because I've got, you know, like these little square boxes. When they're organized and put away nicely, it's nice. It looks good. And I won't have any of this cluttered mess, right? Or do I keep those two shelves and this one for extra putting away things? Like, I'm definitely... I definitely think I'm going to need um, at least one more section, at least. But if I had, if I went and bought another 12 boxes, that would make me another three squares. And then it would be there and there, and I wouldn't have to bother about deciding if I'm keeping these ones and make a choice. I don't really have the extra money for that right now. Okay, done ranting. Going back to ball winding. <sighs> Hooray. I'm actually using my left shoulder because my right one is really sore right now. Um, um there was mom has so much yarn that she still has the brown things. They're down here. Yes, I still have the brown shelves from before because I don't have enough of the beautiful white crates. But you don't you're only gonna see the beautiful. Yes, exactly. Um, and uh, on a sad note, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram or not, but a while ago, like after our last vlog, my sh my sweater shrunk. My Margie, my Margulis sweater, my sweetie Margie sweater shrunk. So I really appreciate my family and how wonderful they are with helping around the house with chores and dishes and sweeping the floor and laundry and washing walls and taking out garbage like my family's and helping cooking too they're really helpful for that but on a sad note somebody did some laundry and yeah this happened well so it just went through the washing machine that's my sweetie margie shirt my sweetie margie sweater and it shrunk. 100% no photoshop. It went from Marge size to Chloe size. And it's a and I'm, I'm sad. I really am. It's okay. But uh, I think it's just because it was my first ever sweater. It was something I'd made for myself. It was my first knitted, real knitted design. And, Mom. But it's okay. Chloe can wear it now. Mom. And I can always make myself another one. I have a better idea. We should get a big frame and frame it because it's the first one you've ever made and it's really, really special. Maybe. We'll see. And like the, the sewing that was here, like the, the cross Yes, stitch. the beautiful uh, staircase step, uh, the staircase uh, cables. Gone. It's, it's visible, but it doesn't have the beautiful definition that it did. So if you're using that same yarn, do not let your children put it through the washing machine. Or the dryer. Yes, because it, it went through both. 
And so one last thing, uh, since we've been moving and everything's still in boxes, um, I cannot find my charger cord for my actual camera. So I'm using my tablet this time, uh, so the quality probably isn't going to be as good and I, I, I do apologize. We're sorry if our faces are blurry. Yes, no, it's or, not going to be that bad. Or pixely or... Yeah. Okay, sir. What, Micah? They're not... Micah says we're not blurry. <laughs> so our shop is reopening yes reopened uh so this past week i actually went through and reopened my etsy shop <laughs> so i am we are set up to take custom orders again which is good because uh oh my goodness like two months of no custom orders has just been crazy so i'm very glad to say that my etsy shop is reopened and if you've been waiting to order something like the crochet rings um you can do so now rather than just ordering my patterns because i'm able to set up and make them and we have one more announcement so our la our next announcement is that we'll have a new addition to our show yeah Chloe <laughs> <laughs> has decided that she would like to add in a monthly topic a monthly topic so this month's topic is going to be your favorite ice cream what is your favorite ice cream so comment down below what your favorite ice cream is what's yours my favorite ice cream totally mint chocolate chip mint chocolate chip all the way and my favorite ice cream it's kind of a mix between two i absolutely love new york cherry cheesecake and i love cookies and cream those have been my favorite ice creams since i was like in high school i just if i could just go get an ice cream cone right now those would that's what it would be for me i don't really like um the cookies and cream oh and i hate mint chocolate chip it's really funny i hate mint chocolate chip but i love like the york the the peppermint patty uh cookies or whatever they are the mints yeah. i love those but i don't like the mint chocolate chip okay moving on to Uh, so I got a lot of acquisitions before we moved, which I don't actually have here because I, they're still boxy boxes. I did get some shawl pins from Prairie Lily Knitting and uh, they're beautiful. So here's some pictures of them. I'm going to cover clothes <laughs> Um, <coughs> I have an acquisition that I love. Uh, it is... This box. Oh, that's heavy. What's in there? <laughs> it's not just the box. It's the inside of the box. What's inside the box? It's a stationary kit. Oh, that's beautiful. So I have this card. It's very beautiful and it matches the box. And then I have, I only have one of these. And then I have these. Oh, look at the other Oh, and then there's the envelopes to the other side. Those are just beautiful. It looks like it's painted in watercolor. Like, that's seriously what it looks like. That is gorgeous. And then I have some white paper exactly the same. So there's this... Eh, it's falling apart. It has... There's a oh. notebook. A notebook with paper for writing on. And then I have some these white stuff. That is just regular oh, cards. Oh, and there's cardstock. So yeah. where did you get these, sweetheart? Well, they're actually two different sets of stationery stuff that I got. Um, so I got the one that's the flower one, and then I got the, I bought the paper, the white paper one, and I had them both in two different spots, and then I wanted to do some writing, and I decided, and I thought, hey, why don't I put it in one box so it's more efficient? Mm, that is really good. Cookies up. Kink. Pinkies up for our teeth. I just have my pinky up on the other side of the That's fine. Okay, um, so I also, uh, before we moved, I got a, an Ipsy bag. Ipsy? So, Ipsy. That's where I got the makeup from. So oh. I got all the, so on some of the pictures, I've got a little star here, and that's actually, they're really cool. Here, we'll show a picture. Oh, 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 I'm excited about this one. 
I'm excited about this, but no, let me, let me tell this. Oh! So, my best friend is way better than your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so wait, she's, wait, wait. she's an interior designer. And um, as we were moving, like, she said for years that she wanted to take my desk of, <coughs> she, she wanted to take my desk of despair and redo it, redecorate it because, so the desk of the despair is what was sitting beside my crochet spot. So Chloe affectionately named it the desk of despair one day when because we couldn't find anything and they were all on that desk. Yeah, she was looking for something specific for me and asked her, go get this, it's on the desk beside my bed or beside my spot. And she's like, I can't find anything. And she came down and said, it's, on, it's, it's a desk not, of despair. It's not on the desk of despair. Yeah. Um, so she took it while we were moved, when it, you know, she took it. So I didn't even, it didn't even get packed in the moving box, in the moving vans. Um, so it, uh, she took it and then she brought it home. She brought it back here when we were in the middle of doing renovation. So I, here is a little clip of the desk of despair. Uh, I'm really excited. So my best friend refinished a table for me and I can't look until she brings it down. You have your eyes closed? I do, I have my eyes closed. And Chloe's videotaping. Whoa. Okay. Okay, can I open? Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, it's so beautiful! Not the same, that's for sure. Gold, gold peeking out all over. All over, and then there's the black. And then I lacquered the top so it's easy to clean and super durable. And oh, it is just gorgeous. Oh, I, love, oh, I love the handle. Yeah, not the same desk anymore. Oh my goodness. So different. It is amazing. And it looks super cute down here too. It will. It'll look so good down here. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I had a lot of fun doing it. So, as said, I can't call it the Desk of Despair anymore. So I need to find a name for my desk because it is so beautiful. Didn't she do an amazing job on it? So I have an idea for a name, Desk of Design, because it's the Desk of Design of the Desk. Um, but if you guys come up with a good idea that you think it should be named, comment please, below. Please let us know in the comments, because I mean, it's, it's just been on spot again. It sucks. It's too beautiful to be called the desk of despair anymore. Okay. Um, okay, my turn. Okay, so my grandmother is a scrap, my granny, grandmother, is a scrapbooker. And so she has, when we were moving, she got rid of a couple, a whole bunch of her stuff. And so, she gave it, she got rid of it for me, to me. And so here's a binder that has a whole bunch of like stickers in it. Oh, it's backwards. But it has a whole bunch of these really beautiful, a, little bit more. a whole bunch of these beautiful stickers. Um, for better. scrapbooking stuff. And that kind of goes really good with um, your, your uh, box there, hey? So yeah. this is just some of them. Those are really cool. Yeah, that's just a couple of them. And then... There's a lot more binders. There's again. a bunch of binders of stuff, and there's a bunch of scrapbook stuff. So I told her just to grab a couple of them. But these are absolutely beautiful. Papers. Yeah, they're, they're... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually bought my mom, bought Nana something, um, which she already has, of course. Uh, as, as you know, we've been doing the whole lot of the Willow Square blankets. And so that particular pattern is in the book called. 200 block, cro 200 crochet blocks. So I bought it off of Amazon. Um, yeah, I bought it off of Amazon and I actually got a free, inside of it, there was a free download coupon for downloading the book in a PDF form. Uh, so mom's got the book and I have the PDF. So it's pretty cool. There's beautiful squares in there. So I have one more acquisition and it's this globe ball thing for my evil light. 
So we call the overhead lights the evil lights because there's no, because we've moved and there's no, um, and we've done so much renovations and we just stuck in regular old light sockets and we haven't ha gone and found nice light shades or nice lamps or whatever. So Chloe picked that up for herself. Yeah, because I have two two lights. Just two lights in her bedroom. I have one here and one here and they're super bright and so annoying. Yeah. But then when I have my lamp on, it's not bright enough. Yeah. So, yeah. I have one more acquisition and then that's it for acquisitions. So, as you know, I teach a lot of uh, crochet people. Uh, to teaching them like in one-on-one -on -one lessons or in even group lessons uh, for uh, people learning to crochet or knit because it's something I enjoy doing and I love sharing it with everybody else. This particular person bought me a gift. This is a J hook. So a 6.0 millimeter furls odyssey hook. Oh my goodness, I have been wanting a furls hook since I found out about furls. Um, I usually love the boy the boy hooks. I hate the Susan Baked hooks, but this is a neat combination of the two of them, of the two styles. So it's got the slat here, but it's rounded on the tip. And I have used it so much since I've gotten it. I just, I love it. Like, and I only have one and I'm only got the J hook, but it is so amazing. So on the next video I do of whatever it is that I'm doing, I'm going to use my furls hook so that you guys can see how amazing it actually is. Um, I kind of want to build for okay, Why it. did you put your hand up? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, so used to school. Um, I really want to build like one of those things from like movies where there's something super, super precious where it's like hold up by two pieces like this in a metal glass box, <laughs> in a glass box and it's like, Oh. Every we'd, time you look at it. We'd have to like get some lights in there and like make it sparkly. Yeah, and every time you look at it, it goes oh. that's, that's just silly. But yeah, so I, I absolutely love, love my hair. So when I was walking around the store, I just went in to go to their one of their uh, groups. I went I went in to yeah. go do one of the knitting groups because they have uh, four. Just go there and knit four four times a week. They've got knitting groups, and so this one was walking around, and it was just it was calling me. It was like March, 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 come by me. And so this is the Cascade Yarns um, Heritage One Hundred and Fifty uh, prints. So it's a 75% superwash merino wool and a 25% nylon. So it's going to be really good for a nice pair of socks when I finish my other socks. And then this one, I got two of these ones. This one was screaming at me. Marge, come buy me, come buy me. Marge, Marge, if you don't buy me, I'm going to perish. Come buy me. Perish. It's going to perish. What does perish mean, Corey? Disappear. Die. Die. You shall Disappear. die. Yes, that's funny. <laughs> no, it will die. It's, it's so die. It, it is also a Cascade yarn. This is the North Shore Prince. And this one is actually um, a 100% acrylic. It's just so beautiful. It just, it, I fell in love with it. I'm not too sure what I'm going to make with it because it's not going to be good for socks. So I was thinking maybe it's, a scarf or something. No, you should make um, a sweater for our a dad's best friend, Broder, Broder Bun. Broder Bun. This was the first ever knitted thing I made. Look, look, Other so than dishcloths, he is durable. so <laughs> filled with flaws. No, but yeah, he, he doesn't have enough fluffing. He doesn't he's have very, enough fluffing. He's got, very his seams are extremely visible. The the, the joins aren't even right. He's but so it's like it, this is just proof that you, we all start somewhere. So don't be worried if your first. work, your first stuff, just you know, you go back and you look at it, you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah, but, but Dad loves it. Dad loves it. So he sits. He sits right here. Oh yes. no, I could. I could. Yeah. Oh, or maybe um, Mademoiselle Suri. Mademoiselle Suri, Miss Mouse. She was my third knitted thing. And see, like her head, her head is still kind of floppy. Uh, her head's floppy. Um, 
But I think the red would look better. I mean, the pink would the look better. I think the pink would look better with Madame Sui. Yeah, the pink. Not Madame. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle Sui. Oh, or what about maybe Rosie? I think the red looks good with Rosie. Yeah, yeah, that looks great. Oh, I should make a little sweater for Rosie. Okay, so... Maybe, maybe Rosie's going to get a dress because Rosie's a girl. So yeah, she's so got little, like, roses. This is a handcrafted bear that one of my friends made me. And uh, she's got beautiful roses on her paws. That's why her name is Rosie. Um, so comment down below what mom should make for which stuffy. So should she make scarves, dresses, sweaters? Mm -hmm. What yarn for who? So we actually have done three trade shows in the process of while we've been moving. Um, and so uh, it's been crazy. Summer. So we did we did the Humboldt Summer Sizzler. Oh, and uh, we have a shout out to Aurora Man and his family for letting us come to the, um, the Summer Sizzler and letting me hang out with his kids. Yeah, um, so Aurora Man is the superhero of Humble, and so he actually writes the, the comic book, and it's really, it's a really interesting comic book, so he's like a superhero in the town of Humble, which is kind of a smaller town in Saskatoon, or a smaller town in uh, Saskatchewan. Okay, so now we're doing whips. Whips. Watch me whip, whip, watch me nanny. Yeah. I've done some work on my socks. I've finished up to the heel flap of them. Here. Yes. <laughs> um, so Nana has been working on the willow squares, doing so many willow square blankets. Uh, but she actually has, she's almost finished a red one, for which is a queen size blanket. And then I got a custom order for a blue one as well. So I'm going to do that while she's finishing up the red one. Blankets and squares and yarn. Oh my! Yes, there's been lots of blankets this year. Oh, I forgot to say, I finished a blue, uh, two shades of blue and two shades of gray, and I lined it with the elephants. Isn't it? Oh so yeah, cute? it was so cute. Yeah, my friend's actually in labor like right now, so I'm really hoping that um, we'll have a baby soon. They yeah, snuggle baby with. cousin. So I've also um, done, I think, another little square on the half hippopotamus. Yeah, that word makes her laugh, so if you want to make her laugh. <laughs> don't say the H words. Please don't say the H words. Right. And then I've also got, I'm also working on another baby blanket for another friend of mine who's pregnant. Um, don't know if they're having a boy or a girl, so I'm using kind of neutral colors. I'm using, I hope you can see these in the thing. I'm using these ones, though the, uh, okay. kind of like, well, so like I'm using the gray. Take it off and take it off on too. Okay, so I'm using these, the really big ones. Um, I'm using these two colors. They're both the uh, Polani Caprice Big. I got these a while ago, so I'm just using some, some extra yarn up. So they are actually a um, full 100% acrylic, um, but they're quite soft and it's chunky. So it's, it's gonna be a shell blanket and so it's working up quite nicely. That's gonna be a happy baby in a happy blanket. Mm -hmm. So many babies! So many. so many babies. No more babies for me though. They won't be babies. So many babies. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of more custom ordered uh, any guru me that I need to start right away here. So we'll have a bunch more for the next time. Mom, would this be an ami guru me? Uh, yes, technically it would be. It's knitted, but ami guru me. Ami guru me. Ami guru me. His arms are. Okay, it's so cute. Okay, put them back. Put them back. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Well, you broke it. Okay, just sit up. We're gonna say bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> and you'll see us yeah. on the next Thank video. You. Bye.
is he? What are you doing up there? do our hands show? Where do our hands need to be to show? Can you see my hands? Yeah, wait, no, I can't see your hands, boy. Um, I can only see up to, um, your A, boy. Wait, you're a? a minion? I can only see your... Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Okay. Thank um, you. I just got, I did get some Shopkins from Shopkins. Shopkins? No. no. I don't like Shopkins. Okay. For one of them, I wore them and I had makeup and I had 